Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So on today's video, the character we're looking into is Sadie the Snake. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this isn't necessarily into the overall universe and lore of FNAF. This is just a creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get started with the character concept of Sadie the Snake. So far in our FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Swamp Shack Pizzeria. This was a swamp-themed children's entertainment restaurant that was home to a whole cast of animatronic characters. The first character we met was Greg the Gator. After their obsession with their sharp, shiny teeth led them down a dark and twisted path, they would stop at nothing to test out their new teeth on the Night Guard. But after the Night Guard has survived this ordeal, it's now time for them to meet our next character. And the next character we're introducing is Sadie the Snake. Sadie was designed after the numerous different types of snakes that would be found in Swamplands. She was given a bright yellow colour scheme to make her appear more friendly looking to the children. Sadie was quite the unique looking character. She was designed with a long, flexible neck that would bend in multiple different directions. So, Sadie's role up on stage was that of the fiddle player. She would perform next to Greg whilst they sang up on stage. Sadie was considered to be quite the popular animatronic at the pizzeria. The children love her jolly looking appearance and funny long neck. As far as animatronics go, Sadie was quite well behaved. But eventually, that would all change soon enough. So, on the unfortunate day of her incident, it was a regular day as any. All the kids were having a great time, and the employees were doing their job as always. All except one troublesome employee. This employee in particular hated working at the Swamp Shack Pizzeria. They couldn't stand all those snot-nosed brats running around and making all the noise. But mostly above all, they couldn't stand all those damn creepy looking animatronics. They hated them. Even when they were little, they couldn't stand them. They've always creeped them out, and even gave them nightmares as a child. But even with their great dislike for these robotic characters, that doesn't mean that they couldn't use them to their advantage while they worked in this dead-end joint. So to save money on extra repair and maintenance workers, each and every employee was assigned their own animatronic character to look after and maintain. This only entailed basic cleaning duties. If any of the characters were to suffer severe damage, then the repair worker would be called in. So at the end of the day, each of the workers would tend to their specific character before they clock out. And it just so happens that our troublesome employee had to look after Sadie. But like we mentioned, this would work well in their favour. So this employee has been scheming a plan for some time now. At the end of each day, they've been stealing a small amount of money from the till. Then when it was time to clean Sadie, they would stash this money inside her long hollow neck. After a while, they would accumulate a decent amount of cash. This plan seemed to be foolproof. The only person who would ever check on Sadie was themselves. As long as there wasn't any major malfunctions or breakdowns, then there wouldn't be any need for the repair worker to come down and take a look at her. So as the months rolled by into a couple of years, tonight was the night the troublesome employee was going to make off with the money. So when the pizzeria closed its doors and the staff tended to their animatronics, the employee decided to stick around a little while longer. Eventually, all the other staff members left, and they would make their move. Since they were the last one left, they were going to lock up the pizzeria after they were finished. So as they slowly opened up Sadie's neck compartment, they were met with quite a shocking discovery. Their hearts sank as they stared at all the dollar bills. All of them were ripped to shreds and stained with oil. Their work for the last two years was all for nothing. Every single bill they took was wasted. Every single day they worked in this horrible place was for nothing. This was finally going to be their big break. And in an instant, it was all over in the blink of an eye. They hated this place. They hated everyone they worked with. Above all, they hated this stupid snake. In a fit of rage, they grabbed a large wrench and smashed it against Sadie's head. They bashed the poor robotic snake until it was barely recognisable. They tore off her arms, smashed apart her legs, and ripped her neck apart with their bare hands. By the time they were done, they caused the poor innocent Sadie a great deal of damage. 
By the morning when the workers found Sadie and the torn dollar bills, they put two and two together. They figured out that the employee's plan was to stash the money and steal it. They also gathered that in a fit of rage, they must have done this to poor Sadie as well. There was no sign of this awful employee anywhere. Considering that their plan has been foiled, the other workers just gathered that they must have skipped town to avoid the cops. But no one really knows what happened to that awful scumbag employee. As time went by, Sadie spent most of her days in the repair room. She began to hate people so much that she didn't even want to be seen by them. She always feared that the same thing would happen to her again if she ever got too close to any of the workers. Sadie also began to miss her arms. Without the ability to grab or hold her beloved fiddle, it began to drive her mad. All she needed was a new pair of arms. But she couldn't possibly take the arms of any of her robotic friends. She instead decided that she needed the arms of somebody else. What about that night guard that's always coming in night after night? Surely they didn't need their arms. All they did was sit in that office night after night. If anyone deserved their arms, it was Sadie. So they decided that's what they'll do. When the night guard isn't looking, they'll take their fresh new arms for themselves. Before Sadie embarks on her twisted plan, let's first hear a word from our sponsor. Fun and games for all kids, big and small. With loads of games and activities to keep the little ones busy, there's no excuse not to come down to Swamp Shack Pizzeria. So now, let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. So far, the Night Guard has had to deal with Greg the Gator, and now they have to face Sadie. So Sadie's starting position would always be in the security office. When the clock strikes one, that's when Sadie would make her move. Sadie would always approach the door from the right hand side. This would tend to work well for the player, as it would give them time to shut the door before she enters. But as always, the player needs to keep an eye on the control panel in case any of the systems shut down. Most times, Sadie would walk across the window whilst the player was looking at the security cameras. But the player does have the ability to catch them walking here and there. With Sadie's long and bendable neck, she could also access the air vents. The player needs to close the vent, but not for too long or else they will suffer from heat stroke due to the poor air ventilation. Sadie will always be trying to sliver past the night guard and try to access the office. If the player slips up and lets Sadie in, then they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Sadie would be a great addition to the Swamp Shack Pizzeria roster of characters. A snake character would definitely fit well with the Swamp theme. And her frightening appearance would definitely offer a number of jump scares, that's for sure. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comments section down below what you thought of Sadie the Snake and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.